Hey everyone, this is Cara's Cucina. I'm Cara DeFalco, and this week I am going to show you how to make a really classic, simple weeknight dinner. We are going to be making sausage and peppers. Great food isn't just about good ingredients and knowing how to cook, it's about telling the story of the food. Hey guys, this is a really easy meal, very kind of classic Italian-American dish. So I have one package of sweet Italian sausage in our dish, so it's going to be about four or five links. If you prefer hot sausage, certainly you can use that. And we have our oven preheated to 350 degrees. So without doing much else to these right now, we're going to get them in the oven for about 20-25 minutes and let them start cooking off. We've let our sausages brown for about 20 to 25 minutes in the oven, so we see they have nice color. And I have sliced up one whole onion and two bell peppers. I'm using the yellow and the orange ones. I like the color of it. It doesn't matter. Any color flavor of bell pepper that you like, that's what you can use in this. Again, it's always your food and it's whatever you prefer. And to these, we're just gonna give them a little drizzle of olive oil and a little bit of salt and some red pepper flakes just to kind of add in uh, a little bit of flavor here and help bring some of the moisture out of these. Give these a quick toss. Okay, we're just gonna set these aside. And what I'm gonna do is pull the sausages out of the baking dish and just set them aside for now because I wanna be able to get those onions and peppers in as the base. And just to prevent sticking, just another little bit of olive oil in the base of our pan, again, so those veggies don't stick too much. Put these in, your onions and peppers. Now, I like this stuff to really cook and caramelize. So again, this is um, the balance of your cooking time is really to taste. So if you prefer a crisper, crunchier, perhaps a uh, veggie portion of this. You can actually let your sausage cook a little bit longer so it's more uh, done, and then put your veggies in so they don't cook for so long. But again, like I said, I like these to really kind of brown up and caramelize. I love all the sweetness to come out of the onion. So I'll put these in a little sooner. We're gonna put our sausage back on top. because I really want those veggies to cook. And right before we put this back in the oven, we're gonna pierce the sausages so that the fat and the juices from the sausages start to come out, run over those veggies, and really flavor the whole dish. So we'll pierce them in a few spots. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see as we're starting to pierce them, see some of those juices coming out of there. And that's exactly what we want. So this is gonna go back in at 350 degrees, again, for about another 15 to 20 minutes or until the sausages are cooked through. After another 20 minutes in the oven, I've pulled our sausages out and I'm gonna slice these. I still have the onions and the peppers in there cooking because again, I like them to uh, really get nice and soft. So this is how my family serves this. You don't necessarily have to do it, but this is what we like to do. So we're just gonna slice our sausage into thin pieces on an angle. I think the reason my mother always sliced the sausages is so that nobody would just get like an end of the sausage because my brother and I wouldn't eat the end pieces. To finish everything up, now we can see I, I pulled the onions and peppers out of here. We've started to get some nice brown bits, some caramelized uh, pieces of vegetables. So we'll give these a quick toss. And then we're just gonna put our sausage pieces back in. Yeah, these are nice and soft. This is how I like this just to heat everything through one more time. And that should only take about five to 10 minutes. Serve your sausage and peppers as a sandwich or with the bread on the side, or if you prefer, you can just eat it right out of the pot. That is it for this week in the Cucina. Guys, if you like this recipe, you can get the written recipe in the comments below, or you can find it at the card above. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a delicious dish. And you can find all my recipes at caradefalco.com. I'll see you guys next week. Bon appetito.